right, hello and good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the South Jersey Group 2 playoffs. I'm Brian Kniff, live on Cape Atlantic Live, and uh, we've got a doubleheader here at Lower Cape May as the Caper Tigers have a girl boy playoff doubleheader here at home. And it's the girls against Collingswood here in the opener, and then the boys against Camden Academy Charter coming up at 7 o'clock. Interesting matchup here between Lower Cape May and Collingswood. These are two teams that actually played one another just last week in the final regular season game. Lower Cape May was a 43-39 winner. Collingswood wearing white, trimmed in dark blue and gold. They are coached by Nancy O'Neill. They're 8-16 overall. They hail from the Colonial Conference's Patriot Division. Their starters, they start four underclassmen. The lone senior is Alexandria Rudio, number five. Two juniors, Piper Wright, number 32. Peyton Ryan, number 25. And a third junior in Riley McSweeney, number four. And then their leading scorer is a freshman, number 21, Tatum Henson. Lower Cape May, they are the champions. The Cape Atlantic United Conference, they're 18 and six overall. They wear the home blacks. Gold numbers trimmed in blue, coached by Scott Douglas. Two seniors in the backcourt, Caitlin McGuigan, Haley Elwell. Junior Alex Voigt plays a forward position, along with freshman Brooke Robinson. Ainsley Reed, a sophomore, plays a swing position. State playoff games all have three officials. Diana Lillo, Corey Francis, Frank Big Game Bazil. Lower Cape May comes in. A lot of scoring balance. They do not have one dominant scorer. Caitlin McGuigan and Brooke Robinson are averaging identical uh, numbers at 9.1 per game. Haley Elwell averages 8.8. .8. Alex Voigt, seven points a game. Expect this to be low scoring, much like the regular season game that was played last week, a 43-39 final. Elwell is Lower Cape May's top three point threat. She made 42 during the season. So an average of just under two per game. Robinson for Lower Cape May in black. Henson for Collingswood in white. And the tip is controlled by Lower Cape May. Collingswood comes out in a 3-2 zone. McGuigan pounds the right-hand dribble and surveys the defense. Into the corner, Ainsley Reed for three. Off the side of the backboard, she kept the rebound alive momentarily, but it's picked up by Alexandria Rudio of Collingswood. Ryan in the corner doubled, got it out to Henson. Ryan again. Henson, right elbow jumper off the iron, no good, rebound. Saved in bounds by Collingswood. Long jumper is no good by Rudio. And Alex Vogt has the rebound for Lower Cape May. Elwell with it as they play catch along the perimeter. And there's a steal by Riley McSweeney. But then she steps out of bounds. And Lower Cape May will have it. McGuigan drives, kicks in the corner. Elwell, a baseline three. Bang. That was better offense for Lower there against that 3-2. You have to dribble at that wing person a lot of times, make them make a decision on who to guard, and that left Elwell wide open. Run and jump here by Lower Cape May, and we're going to have a jump ball as the ball hit the floor. It'll go over to Collingswood. Hits an inbounds. Now it's Rudio trying to go through the middle of the defense. Can't do it. Kicks it back out. Ryan at the top of the key. Bounces to Henson. Head and shoulders fake. Ryan with it to the right of the key. Drives toward the baseline. Good defense by Alex Vogt there. Kicked out. Here's a long three on the way. No good. 
Offensive rebound brought down by Collingswood. Jumper no good by Rudio. The long rebound is tapped out. It's loose. Picked up by Ainsley Reed of Lower Cape May. Here's McGuigan. Good look in the post to Robinson. Robinson off the glass, no good. Got her own rebound. No good. Might have been blocked by Wright. And Hinson has it for Collingswood. Outlet pass knocked out of bounds. 3 0 lower, 5.43 to go first quarter. Alexandria Rudio, basketball for Collingswood. Goes to Tatum Henson in the corner. Shut off, up high to Peyton Ryan. Ryan swings it to Rudio in the post to Henson. Drop step move, partially blocked. Henson got the rebound, kicked out. Three ball on the way, no good by McSweeney. And Alex Vogt the rebound for Lower Cape May. High pass for a vote. Saved it inbounds back to McGuigan. Elwell the basketball goes cross court to Reed. Up to McGuigan, left wing three. Off the iron, no good. Rebound will go off of Collingswood and out of bounds. Delay here is Tatum Henson. That's the tire sneaker. McGuigan on the right. Extra pass to Vote. 18 footer, no good. Rebound, Ainsley Reed. Kicks it out to Vote. She'll drive down the lane off the glass. No good. Rebound to Reed again. Lower Cape May getting a couple of opportunities here on this possession. McGuigan in the corner. Reed bounces in the post to Robinson. Had that partially blocked. And we're going to have a foul on Robinson on the rebound. Four twenty-five to go first quarter. Just that one three-point field goal for Lower Cape May that was made by Haley Elwell. Otherwise, we have had no scoring. Some pressure by Lower Cape May. Hinson with its center of the floor, stops at the foul line, banks in a jumper. First points for Collingswood. About to hit the midway point of the first quarter. First of two here in group two. Lower Cape May boys coming up at 7 o'clock against Camden Academy Charter. Elwell back to McGuigan. Elwell again. Alex Vogt, 15-footer. Air ball. Rebound brought down by Piper Wright of Collingswood. Stolen away on the outlet by Reed. But Hinson picks the loose ball back up for Collingswood. Ryan trapped along the sidelines. Bounces back, stolen away by Haley Elwell. And now Caitlin McGuigan trying to run for lower Cape May. Steps around a player, no good but a foul. And she'll get two shots. Free throw by McGuigan's no good. Second one's also no good. Robinson, the offensive rebound. She'll kick it out. And we're going to have a three-second violation on Robinson, though. Stolen away by Robinson, right off the inbound. No good on the shot. And now we have a foul. This might go against Robinson, too. Yeah, it's on Robinson. That's her second. She commits the foul on the rebound. So Savannah Wareham will check in for her. Freshman guard, number five.
Inbound pass stolen away by Alex Vogt. McGuigan goes cross court. That's stolen by Hinson. Tatum Hinson running for Collingswood. Good Euro step move, couldn't finish. Rebound brought down by McGuigan. McGuigan passes ahead of the pack, too far for Alex Vogt. And it's a turnover. Hinson inbounds, got it to McSweeney. She's trying to push. Goes to the basket, no good but a foul. Staked there by Alex Vogt, she kind of left the dribbler for a moment. And McSweeney was able to go right to the basket. Free throw is no good. Both teams with just one field goal, 2.54 to go in the first quarter. Second free throw is good. So we're tied at three. Winner of this game will take on either Haddonfield or Gloucester in the next round. McGuigan for three off the back iron, no good for Lower Cape May. Alex Rudio, the rebound for Collingswood. McSweeney in the corner. Spins, bounces across, stolen away by Elwell. It's her second steal of the first quarter. She gets it to Wareham, back to Elwell, bounce to Reed. Cross court Wareham. In the corner, Alex Vogt, 17-footer, got it. Lowers first basket in a while, but they do lead 5-3. Two minutes to go, first quarter. Henson's pass, too high. And oh, that should have been a backcourt violation there, but was not called. McGuigan came up with that steal and then went backcourt into the post. It's blocked by Henson. Henson up the sideline, goes around two players, goes to the basket, and the floater along the baseline is good. Henson with four of Collingswood's five. Wareham for three. That's good. Savannah Wareham gives Laura Cape May the lead again at 8-5. 1.15 to go in the quarter. Driving to the basket, no good on the shot is Rudio. Alex Vogt the rebound. McGuigan will walk it up this time. Now it's Elwell. Wareham again. As they play catch along the perimeter. High post to Vogt, turns, fires off the glass and good. Good offense by Lower Cape May. They moved it quickly there. Back to back field goals for Alex, Alex Vogt. It's 10-5 lower. Near steal, Hinson has it. Got it to Rudio, long jumper is good, it's a two. 30 seconds to play in the quarter. See if lower holds for one, or if they try to take the first available, good shot. Pass was kicked. Violation, Lower Cape May will inbound here on the sideline. Right at the 28 foot mark. 17 seconds to go in the period. Elwell in the corner to vote. Back to McGuigan. Corner to Elwell, vote again in the post. Dips in, jump hooks no good, and the buzzer sounds. 10-7 lead for Lower Cape May after one. Be sure to check out the Mudhem Brewing Company, Dog Tooth Bar and Grill, and Poppy's Brick Oven Pizza and Kitchen for great local dining and entertainment experiences in the Wildwoods. Crest Savings Bank has been serving the Cape May County community for nearly 105 years. Check them out at CrestSavings.com. Hall's Carpet Care specializes in carpet and upholstery cleaning, air duct and dryer vent cleaning, and home watch services. HallsCarpetCare.com. Cabrera Companies provides real estate, property management, and home repair services here at the Jersey Shore. 
CabreraCompanies.com for more info. Not For Long Media is a content hub made up of several podcasts and YouTube shows talking all things sports, food, drinks, travel, culture, and much more. You can check them out at NotForLongMedia.com. Bow Harbor Hotels in Wildwood Crest supports high school basketball broadcasts on Cape Atlantic Live. If you need a room for friends or family, log on to BowHarborHotels.com for more. 10-7 lead for Lower Cape May after one quarter of play. I'm Brian Kniff, live on Cape Atlantic Live. Matt Ulmer handling the production behind the scenes. First of two here tonight. We'll have Lower Cape May taking on Camden Academy Charter in the boys game after this at 7 o'clock. Lower Cape made the ball to start the second quarter. They lead by three. McGuigan fires a three, and it's good. Lower with his largest lead at six. Piper right with the basketball. Nearly loses it. It's stolen away by Elwell. Her third steal, got it up to McGuigan. Pass was too far. That needed to just be a simple chest pass. She threw a bounce pass that had a little English on it. And McGuigan couldn't handle. Collingswood breaks the press. Here's Wright, a jumper that's short. Rebound will be knocked out of bounds by Lower Cape May. Alex Rudio will trigger the inbound for Collingswood. Lower Cape May in zone here. Now they switch back to man. High pass, and it's a turnover. 7.03 to go before halftime, lower by six. They've made three threes against this 3-2 zone by Collingswood. McGuigan lobs in the corner to Elwell. Back to McGuigan. Over to Olivia Lewis, who just checked into the game. McGuigan top of the key, fakes, goes to Elwell. Elwell for three. Off the iron, no good. Good rebound, Ainsley Reed. No good, but a foul. She'll go to the line for two. Six thirty-seven to go before the half. Reach first is no good. Lower is 0 for 3 from the line so far. Savannah Wareham into the game. Elwell will come out. Second free throw. Reed gets a good bounce. And that falls. 14-7, Lower Cape May. Six and a half to go before halftime. It's Rudio against the defense of Lewis. Got it to Henson. Rudio again. Goes right. McSweeney along the baseline in the corner. Back out to Rudio. Henson again. Driving right. Shut off. Nora Roseborough, number 14, into the game for Collingswood. Right goes to the basket. No good. Long rebound. Comes out to McSweeney. Henson for three. No good. The rebound batted around, and it's knocked out of bounds by Lower Cape May. Rudio to throw it in. The five second violation, she couldn't get it in. That's a tough turnover to take. Well, you can't get the ball inbounds against the zone. Collingswood has switched to a 2-3 zone here. McGuigan goes right. Wareham with it. 
And now McGuigan again. Reed on the right. Cross court pass. McGuigan holds, cross court again to Reed. Baseline drive, passes across to Lewis. And now it's McGuigan again. Lower looking to beat Collingswood for the second time in less than a week. Kind of odd for teams to play in a non-league game shortly before playing one another in the state tournament, but that's exactly what happened. McGuigan holds, Reed steps in, three ball, bang. It's a 10 point lead for Lower Cape May. Hidson drives left, shut off by McGuigan. Good defense by McGuigan there. Roseboro goes in the corner to Rudio. Hidson now kicks McSweeney for three. No good off the iron. Followed her shot well and got her own rebound. Roseboro on the right. Driving baseline, shut off. Lost her dribble in a bad spot. And then. say it's Lower Cape May basketball. Lower looking to further extend its lead in the double digits. 17-7 they lead. 4.15 to go before halftime. Collingswood switches back to a 3-2 zone. McGuigan bounces high post. Turning, firing, no good as vote. Read the rebound. No good, vote the rebound. That's no good. And the rebound's cleared by Hinson of Collingswood. Rudio in the corner to McSweeney. Now it's right. Piper right driving, shut off. Offensive foul. She stuck her left arm out into the shoulder of Ainsley Reed and an offensive foul there on Collingswood. Kennedy Castle into the game for Collingswood, number 11. Brianna Loper for Lower Cape May, number 50. Reed on the baseline. Lobs it out to McGuigan. Elwell, Loper, she'll shoot a three. That's short, rebound Henson. Henson gets it ahead. Floater along the baseline is no good by Roseborough. Loper the rebound for Lower. McGuigan fakes a three, drives, passes back to Vote, out to Elwell, bang. That was a great first pass by McGuigan. Kind of set up the whole sequence there. Elwell finishes with the three after the good kick out pass by Alex Vote. Castle top of the key goes to Henson on the right. Drives right. Pass was tipped, nearly stolen, but it's picked back up by Roseborough. Right side to Henson. Henson dribbles off her foot, and we are going to have a jump ball. Elwell's been active defensively. She has three steals already and caused that tie up for the jump ball. Collingswood to inbound. And we have a timeout called by Collingswood with 2.24 to go before halftime. And Lower leading it 20 to seven. Ulmer's Appliance Service is a proud supporter of Cape Atlantic Live Sports Broadcast. Log on to ulmersappliance.com. Ribeye Steaks is a staple to many festivals and special events across Cape May County all throughout the year. For more info on one of the area's premier food trucks, call 609-602-3378 or check them out on Facebook. New Jersey State Assemblyman Antoine McClellan and Eric Simonson are strong supporters of high school sports and Cape Atlantic live sports broadcasts. The Wildwood Recreation Department supports high school basketball broadcasts on Cape Atlantic Live. Call 609-522-5837 for information on all 
of the Wildwood Recreation Department's programs and activities. Wildwood Crest Police Officers Association and the Wildwood Crest Canine Unit support Cape Atlantic Live Sports. Call 609-522-2456 to support those two fine organizations. So Lower leading by 13, causing Collingswood to call the timeout. Rudio driving right. Gets into the paint, kicks out. Roseboro to McSweeney. And now Henson, the leading scorer for Collingswood, has the ball on the right. Leading scorer by average coming into the game, averaging about 11. Rudio over to McSweeney. Now it's Castle. Collingswood taking a lot of time on this possession here. McSweeney drives, shut off. Got it to Kennedy Castle, fires a three, no good off the iron. Rebound brought down by, there was a battle for that rebound and it was knocked out of bounds by Lower Cape May. Inbounding is Alex Rudio. Roseboro to Castle. Henson drive, shut off. Thought about a jumper and then traveled. Piper Wright will check back in for Lower Cape May. And, or for Collingswood, I should say, Lower Cape May has the ball with a 13 point lead with 124 to go in the first half. McGuigan for three, short. Rebound's gonna go off of Lower Cape May and out of bounds. Alex Rudio up the, to Piper right on the left. Castle right again. Peyton Ryan, who's also back in, number 25, gives it to Kennedy Castle. Traveling violation. So Lower Cape May's been causing a lot of turnovers on this Collingswood team. Fifty seconds to go in the half, lower by 13. Loper. Kira Ridgeway in the game for Lower Cape May. McGuigan's three is no good. Rebound to Alex Vogt, kicked out to McGuigan. And here is McGuigan, right side to Loper. Loper for three, off the iron, no good. Rebound Alex Vogt again, kick to McGuigan. 20 seconds to go in the half. Loper in the right corner. McGuigan swung the Ridgeway, cross court look. McGuigan, Ridgeway, 18 footer, in and out. Rebound brought down by Rudio, and Collingswood won't get a shot away. As Lower Cape May shuts out Collingswood in the first half, it is 20 to 7 or shuts out Collingswood in the second quarter, I should say, and they take a 20 to seven lead into halftime. We'll step aside with our audio. We'll come back right before the start of the second half. This is high school basketball in Cape Atlantic Live.
You let it rip. All right, back at the half, Lower Cape May leading Collingswood 20 to 7 in this opening round South Jersey Group 2 playoff game. Sponsored by Square One Design. They have nearly 20 years of experience designing websites, building online marketing campaigns, and creating custom web applications. Design SquareOne.com for info. Bonner's Accounting Services can handle all of your tax and financial needs. Give them a call at 609-602-3187. One-off marketing designs and prints everything from business cards and banners to t-shirts and sweatshirts. Check out all of their services at oneoffmarketing.com. Lower Cape May hit five threes in that first half. Collingswood comes out in zone again. McGuigan the basketball. Robinson back in the game. She sat all of the second quarter and the end of the first after picking up two fouls. She's in the high post for lower. She has the basketball. She turns, fires that short. Rebound brought down by Collingswood's Peyton Ryan. And she'll bring the ball up. Bounces, knocked away by McGuigan. Story of this game has been Lower Cape May's pressure man to man, really hounding Collingswood. When they nearly throw it away, but McSweeney tracks down the loose ball. McSweeney going left, bounces to Henson. Tatum Henson, back up top to Peyton Ryan. Ryan goes to Riley McSweeney on the right, pass the cross. Piper right, now to Alex Rudio, down the lane, off the glass, and good. And that is Collingswood's first point since the opening quarter. Collingswood shows pressure here. McGuigan goes to Robinson. Robinson to Reed, steps in, off the glass, and good. Good job of lower, by Lower Kate May, passing ahead against the pressure. Henson with the basketball, driving left, good defense by McGuigan. McGuigan nearly stole it, and she did, got it to Reed. Reed lobs it out to Alex Vote. Vote to the basket, no good but a foul. And Alex Vote will go to the line for two. With her team ahead 22 to nine, this will be her first trip to the line. She has four points, she scored on back-to-back -back possessions in the first quarter. Her first is no good. Second one's no good. Lower Cape May is just one for six from the foul line. But they lead by 13. Alex Rudio goes right. Top to Piper right. Tatum Henson. In the corner, Alex Rudio lost it to McGuigan, but then McGuigan lost it. And now we have a traveling violation on Lower Cape May. Nora Roseborough into the game for Collingswood. 5.58 to go in the third. Roseborough. Henson in the corner, backs away, pass across, tipped, loose, and stolen by, McG by uh, Elwell. Another steal for the senior guard. Here's McGuigan. Across the timeline, here's Elwell on the left. Thought about a three. Gives it up. Robinson, down low to Reed. Reed kicks out. Elwell to Robinson. Back to McGuigan, fakes a three. Foul line area jumper, no good. Rebound Robinson, good offensive rebound by the freshman. Kicks out to Elwell. She'll reset the offense. Over to Reed. Reed tried to bounce it in the post. Henson tipped it, and it's stolen away by McSweeney. Right with the basketball goes to McSweeney on the right wing. Henson, left side of the key. Roseboro, shut off by Robinson. Peyton Ryan, Piper right now, driving against Reed. 
Kicks, Roseboro thought about a three, couldn't get the shot away. Now it's McSweeney. Here's a three on the way. That is good by Peyton Ryan. Cuts it to a 10-point game. Collingswood will show 2-2, two -two, one zone pressure again. Reed with the basketball. Cross court, bad pass. Stolen away by Piper Wright. Wright lost the handle, McGuigan steals. McGuigan driving, good pass across. Brooke Robinson's layup is good. Robinson did a good job running the floor there, giving McGuigan an option. And she found her for the bucket, and it's lower by 12. Ryan on the right. Pass tipped into the backcourt. McSweeney retrieves for Collingswood. Center of the floor, and Collingswood wants a timeout. With 3.55 to go in the third quarter, 24-12. Collingswood trailing Lower Cape May here in the third quarter. It's a 30 second timeout. The original hotspot restaurant on the Wildwoods Boardwalk at Cedar Avenue. It's a family tradition for more than 60 years. You can check them out at originalhotspot.com. Wildwood FMBA Local 50 is a proud supporter of Cape Atlantic Live Sports. Cape Atlantic Live thanks the city of Wildwood firefighters for their support. Cassiello Basketball is the Jersey Shores premier grassroots basketball organization featuring individual and group training and various leagues for kids of all ages. Check them out at CassielloBasketball.com. Triano and Sons handles masonry, concrete, foundation repair, and stucco services for homes and businesses across Cape May County. 609-522-3355 for a free estimate. Nora Roseborough with the ball for Collingswood. Brings it up across the division line. Drives right and travels. Well, actually, they're going to call a blocking foul on Alex Vogt. So Collingswood inbounds. Cross court pass tipped, but Peyton Ryan is able to retrieve Tatum Henson now, trying to drive right. Good defense by McGuigan, didn't allow her to turn the corner. Ryan, too high and out of bounds. Threw it into the first row of the stands over there. Kennedy Castle into the game for Collingswood. Still showing that 2-2-1 zone pressure. Center of the floor to Robinson. Robinson goes to vote down low. Layup is good. Again, lower passing ahead against the pressure. Castle for three. No good. Rebound. Hinson. That's blocked. Alex Vote went down in a heap. She's slow to get up. Three ball on the way is no good. Henson, the offensive rebound, was tipped away by McGuigan. Vote got it, tried to get it to Ainsley Reed. It went off of her hand and out of bounds. Jillian Lagren, number 22, into the game for Collingswood. And Savannah Wareham for Lower Cape May. Castle in the corner, brings it back out, and a reach-in foul by Elwell. Ali Rudio will check back in for Collingswood. Two forty-five to go in the third. Lower by fourteen. Henson. Doubled, and it's knocked away. It's stolen by, by Elwell again. Here's Reed. Wareham passes across to McGuigan. Cross court pass to Wareham. 16 footer short. Rebound taken by Ali Rudio of Collingswood. Rudio down the paint. And she's fouled. That goes against Wareham. Her first, Lower Cape May's third of the period. Ooh. 
Ryan in the corner, trying to drive baseline. Good defense by Robinson. Henson now, picked up by McGuigan. Rudio gets into the top of the lane. Ryan again, lost the dribble, stolen by Robinson. McGuigan has it. Driving right, right to the basket. Her layup is good. Her second field goal, she's got five. It's lower by 16. 135 to go. And there's a foul here on Elwell. It's Elwell's second. Fourth on lower Kate May. Olivia Lewis will check in for the Tigers. Collingswood to inbound. They need to make stuff happen quickly. Hinson knocks down a short jumper. That'll help. Still a 14-point lead for Lower. McGuigan will dribble it right up the right side herself to beat the pressure. Goes cross-court to Wareham. 4-3. Bang! Lower with its largest lead at 17. Three ball on the way by Ryan is no good. Out of bounds off of Lower. McSweeney back in for Collingswood. Collingswood gets it into McSweeney. Stops, lost the dribble in a bad spot. Got it to Henson. Henson into the paint, stripped. And Wareham comes up with the loose ball. Livia Lewis dribbles the ball off her left foot. That's a turnover. Forty-five seconds to go in the period. McSweeney on the right. Pass into the post is tipped. And Robinson comes up with the loose ball for Lower. McGuigan drives right. Lewis over to Reed. Wareham in the corner. 25 seconds to go. Lewis holds. Wareham. Pass was tipped by McSweeney and out of bounds. Lower will inbound with 16.8 on the clock here in the third quarter. Reed throws it in the backcourt to Lewis. Wareham with it. Lewis, McGuigan, right side, into the post, tipped away. Collingswood has a chance if they push to get a shot away. Here's Henson, goes in the corner, and they won't get a shot away. So a good quarter by Lower Kate May as they outscore Collingswood. 11 to seven, and they'll take a 31-14 lead into the fourth quarter. The Boardwalk Basketball Classic is one of the nation's largest high school basketball tournaments. For schedules and ticket information, log on to bbclassic.com. North Wildwood Recreation Department is a strong supporter of Cape Atlantic Live basketball broadcasts. For more information on their programs and activities, call the North Wildwood Rec at 609-522-2955. The Angle Sea Pub in North Wildwood is your go-to place for Irish pub fare, the best Guinness on tap, and a great selection of Irish whiskeys. Located at first in New Jersey, the Angle Sea Pub is a strong supporter of Cape Atlantic Live sports broadcasts. For nearly 125 years, the Bellevue Tavern has featured excellent food and service and a warm, friendly atmosphere in the heart of Cape May Courthouse. That's the Bellevue Tavern. 609-463-1738. Final eight minutes here. 31-14, lower in charge. Collingswood will have the ball to start the fourth quarter. When these play teams played the regular season game last week, though, lower had a 13-point lead after three quarters and hung on and won by four. So let's see if they can play a better fourth quarter here. We have a foul on Olivia Lewis. First team foul of the fourth quarter on Lower. Yeah. 
Ali Rudio. Falls to the ground and it's taken out of her hands by Lewis, but she throws it away as Hinson steals. Hinson lobs it ahead. Going to the basket is right, but it's blocked by Ainsley Reed and out of bounds. McGuigan back into the game. They gave her a brief rest. Olivia Lewis will come out. Get the pass into the post. And it's going to go out of bounds off of Collingswood as the ball rolled back to Rudio. And she was standing out of bounds when she made contact with the ball. Elwell with it back to McGuigan. McGuigan will beat the pressure now off the dribble. Great pass over to Alex Vogt. Jumper's no good, though. And the rebound's brought down by Rudio. Rudio outlets to McSweeney. Stolen away by Alex Vogt. McGuigan with it. Up the right, McGuigan down the lane, no good but a foul. Caitlin McGuigan will go to the line for two shots here. Seven oh seven to go in, in the fourth. McGuigan makes that one. She's one for three at the line. She has six points. Second one is also good. Lower by 19 now with seven minutes to go. Here's Rudio. Driving right, shut off. Up top to Peyton Ryan. Ryan bounces to Piper right. She is fouled going to the basket. This will be Collingswood's first free throw attempt since the first quarter. First one is good. Thirty-three, fifteen. Now, Collingswood has just six field goals in this game. Second free throw is short. It's an air ball, so Lower Cape May will have it on the violation by the shooter. McGuigan drives up the left side, bounces down low, saved in bounds. We had a collision there. This ball's going to go over to Collingswood. And they're going to delay things here as Camden Academy Charters contingent coming in for the boys game, walking across the baselines. They're going to wait for them to come through before they restart play. And here comes Rudio. Tatum Henson down the lane. Got it and a foul. So Henson has eight. Something to watch. That's the third team foul on Lower Cape May. Already in this fourth quarter with 6.23 to go. Free throw is no good. Rebound saved in by vote, but not to a good spot. Henson knocks down the jumper. Ends up being a four-point possession for Collingswood. And we have a foul here as McSweeney knocks McGuigan to the deck. Collingswood switches up its press. It's more of a man look here. Reed bounces back to McGuigan. McGuigan Euro step blocked by Hinson and out of bounds. Lower will have it. 
Reed into the post. Robinson, layup is good. Timeout, lower Kate May. It was a basket that Lower kind of needed, still comfortably ahead, but you can kind of sense a little momentum swinging toward Collingswood there as they had scored five straight points. But now that basket by Robinson gives Lower a 16 point lead with 6.04 to go. Cape Atlantic Live thanks Lower Cape May Regional High School and Athletic Director Eric Simonson for allowing us to bring you today's high school basketball playoff doubleheader. With the boys, Lower Cape May and Camden Academy Charter coming up at 7 o'clock. So 6.04 to go. And it's Lower leading 35 to 19. And the winner of this game will play either the number four seed Haddonfield or the number 13 seed Gloucester. Or check that. They'll play the number three seed Manchester or the number 14 Overbrook. I think I made a mistake on that earlier. Lower the six seed Collingswood the 11. Lower showing some pressure now. Rudio will beat it off the dribble. Gets into the lane, kicks. Short jumper on the way is good by Piper Wright. It's her first field goal, she's got three points. McGuigan with it for Lower. Lobs ahead to Reed, Reed down low to Robinson, off the glass and good. Robinson after playing limited minutes through the foul trouble in the first half, has six now in the second half. Six points, that is. Henson with it, got it to McSweeney. Lower by 16. Rudio to Ryan. McSweeney down the lane, blocking foul, and McSweeney will get two. And that's the fourth foul already on Lower, so Tigers have to be careful here because this is a way that Collingswood can get back in the game. If you start fouling too much, every foul is going to send them to the line now for the remainder of the game. First free throw is no good. Second one is also no good. Rebound to Robinson. Got it out to Reed. Reed to McGuigan. Reed on the right. Lower Cape May will spread the floor. It's Collingswood. He's going to have to come out and pressure. McGuigan lobs in the corner. Elwell, floater off the glass, no good. Got her own rebound, kicks out. McGuigan with it. McGuigan is fouled by Rudio. Second foul on Rudio, third on Lower on oh, uh, Collingswood. Four forty-five to go. Lower by sixteen. They have the basketball. Robinson holds. Puts the ball on the floor to break a five-second count. Conley brings it out. McGuigan will reset. And she's fouled by McSweeney. So now any foul by Collingswood will send lower to the line as that's the fourth on them. McGuigan in the backcourt. She'll bring it up against Rudio. Drives right, kicks, Reed for three, no good. A rebound off of lower and out of bounds. Passing ahead nicely is Collingswood. Rudio stripped by Robinson, knocked it off of Rudio and out of bounds. Good play by Brooke Robinson, tracking back from behind. Reed, back to Elwell. Good bounce pass, center to floor to McGuigan. Back to Reed, now it's Elwell again. Right side McGuigan, fakes a three, steps in, 17 footer. Short, rebound to vote, falls down and travels.
3.50 to go in the game, lower by 16. Hinson driving right, crossover at the foul line area, lost the dribble, gets it to right. Now it's Ryan driving baseline, bounces in the post, and now we have a jump ball as Robinson tied up Rudio. Savannah Wareham into the game for lower. And McGuigan is fouled by a reaching Ali Rudio, and McGuigan's going to walk down and shoot free throws. As that's the fifth foul on Collingswood. Lower in control here by 16 with 3.34 to go. McGuigan's first is good. Second one is also good. She's made four straight since missing her first two. She has nine points in the game. 39-21, lower Kate May. Here's Henson, steps in, long jumper's gonna be an air ball, rebound to Elwell. McGuigan has it. Brings it up against some token man-to-man -man pressure here by Collingswood. Wareham with it. To Reed, back to McGuigan. McGuigan down the lane, off the glass, no good. Rebound off of Collingswood and out of bounds. As Robinson kept that alive for Lower Cape May. Nora Roseborough into the game for Collingswood. Reed inbounds to McGuigan. McGuigan stops at the foul line, goes to Reed. McGuigan again, over to Wareham. Elwell backs, bounces it back to McGuigan. McGuigan into the lane, had it stripped away, and pushing the ball is Wright. Wright will fire a three, that is good. Her second field goal, she's got six. Lower by 15, 2.25 to go. Elwell is fouled. She'll go to the line for two shots. Elwell's first is no good. Lower by 15, 2.22 to go. Second one is, we have a violation on the shooter, like Elwell may have stepped over the line before she finished the shot, or before the ball hit the rim. Henson. Swung into the corner to right. Her jumper's no good. Rebound, Roseborough tries to rip through. Scooping layup is good. What a move by Nora Roseborough. It's a 13-point game, two minutes to go. McGuigan gets it up to Elwell. Brings it across the timeline, lobs to McGuigan. McGuigan back to Elwell. Elwell for three. Bang! Her third three, she's got nine, and that one may have put the game away if, if, low, if, if it really hadn't already, although Lower Cape May commits a foul here. This will send Henson to the line for two shots. Henson has 10 points in the game. She's 0 for 1 at the line.
First one's no good. Second one is no good. And the rebound's brought down by Elwell. Spins away from pressure, lobs it center to Florida Robinson. Hands off to McGuigan. 1.20 to go, Lower putting the finishing touches on what will be a solid group two playoff when they nearly turn the ball over here, but McGuigan has, or Elwell has it in the background. Lower's got to get it across. They're going to be a 10 second violation, and they barely beat the count. Reed, center of the floor, tipped and stolen. Hinson has it. And now it's Ryan. Ryan up the right side, doubled. Got it to Henson. Across to McSweeney. Now there's a three on the way. That is good by Piper Wright. She's got nine points all in this period. 13-point game, 40 seconds to go. Here's McGuigan. And she'll hold the dribble against Roseboro. And it looks like Collingswood will elect not to foul and allow Lower to dribble this thing out. With McGuigan with it, 20 seconds to go. Still holding the dribble. And the Lady Tigers will advance in the South Jersey Group 2 tournament as they're going to win this one 42 to 29 over Collingswood. And a lot of balance in the scoring for Lower Cape May in this one. And first we'll give you Collingswood. They finish the season at 8 and 17. Tatum Hinson had 10, Piper Wright with 9, 4 for Ali Rudio, 3 for Peyton Ryan, 2 for Nora Roseboro and one point for Riley McSweeney. For Lower Kate May, Caitlin McGuigan, Haley Elwell, each with nine, and then four players with six points. Brooke Robinson, Alex Vogt, Ainsley Reed, and Savannah Wareham. And Lower Kate May advances. They'll play either Haddonfield or Overbrook in the next round on Monday, and they improve to 19 and six. That'll do it for the girls game. We'll step aside with the audio. We'll be back for the boys shortly before seven o'clock. 42-29, Lower Cape May a winner over Collins with the boys coming up against Camden Academy Charter at seven o'clock. For now, I'm Brian Kniff for Matt Ulmer. This is High School Basketball on Cape Atlantic Live.
All right, good evening again, ladies and gentlemen. Back live at Lower Cape May Regional High School. I'm Brian Kniff. Live on Cape Atlantic Live, Matt Ulmer handling the production behind the scenes. This is the back end of a South Jersey Group 2 playoff doubleheader. Lower Cape May girls beat Collingswood 42-29 in the opener. So they're advancing in the state tournament. Starters being introduced here in this boys game between Lower Cape May and Camden Academy Charter, the Camden Charter Cougars. Coached by E.J. Grice, they come in at 14 and 11. They are the number 12 seed, wearing the white uniforms trimmed with uh, maroon lettering trimmed in black. Julius Dominguez, senior guard, Leads them in scoring 19.8 a game. Daniel Casasola averages 16 a game also in the starting lineup. He's a senior forward. Michael Morton, a sophomore guard, averaging 14 and a half a game. Other starters, Joe Devine, senior forward, and Omar Quinones, sophomore guard. Lower Cape May coached by Scott Holden. 20 and six overall, Cape Atlantic United Conference champions. Wearing the home blacks. White lettering trimmed in blue. <laughs> Starters for them. Mackie Bonner leads the team in scoring 16.8 a game. Also a recent 1,000 point scorer. O Ogre Nunez starts in the backcourt with him. Along with John Fernandez, a sophomore. Ari Wright, a senior. Ty Bonner, a sophomore. Ty Bonner averaging 13.2 a game. Lower Cape May starts five guards. Officials for the game, Scott Cooper is the man with the basketball. In the foreground to the right is Akeem Robinson. And far side to the left is Fred Lamb. So this will be divine for Camden Charter, jumping it up against Wright for Lower Cape May. Wright wins it to Fernandez. Lower Cape May has the basketball to start. Camden Charter comes out and man the man. Here's Ogre Nunez. In the Mackie Bonner, right to the basket. The layup is good. Good start for Lower Cape May. They get an easy one right out of the shoot. Morton outlets near steal. Bonner went up high and he, he regretted doing that. Pass would have gone out of bounds. He got a finger on it, so it'll go back to Camden Charter. Dominguez to inbound. And goes in the backcourt to Canones. Hands off to Dominguez, the leading scorer. Bounces on the right to Casasola. Picked up by Ogre Nunez. Right elbow jumper. Off the iron, no good. Right the rebound. Mackie Bonner outlets to John Fernandez. Jump stop, layup, no. Tipped up his own miss, no. Got his own rebound again, and we have a foul. This goes against Omar Quinones. And Lower Cape May will have it. Bonner gets it into his younger brother. Now it's right. Camden Charter now in a 2-3 zone. Ty Bonner with the basketball. Surveying the zone, goes on the left of Fernandez. Right side, Ari right. Cross court, bad pass. Tipped and stolen by Devine. Up to Morton, stolen away. Here's Ty Bonner, got it up to Mackey. Layup is good. Outlet pass. Morton into the paint, he lost it. Mackey Bonner, down low to Ari right. Ball fakes, had a shot blocked. But the ball came down to Quinones, who was out of bounds, so it'll go back to Lower Cape May, which leads 4-0 here. 6.29 to go first quarter. Mackie Bonner, open for three. Rattles in and out. Ari Wright lost the rebound. Outlet pass nearly stolen by Lower. But now they get it ahead to Quinones, who drives baseline. He loses it. 
Here's Fernandez. Over to Mackie Bonner. Down low, Ogre Nunez. Layup is good. 6 nothing start for the Caper Tigers. Here comes Morton. <clears throat> Doubled. Got it down low. Canones lays it up and in as Lower failed to rotate properly out of that run and jump. 6-2. There's Bonner in the backcourt. Two brothers playing catch. Now it's a 1-3-1 zone defense by Camden Charter. So they've played three different defenses already in this game. Ari Wright steps in, 17-footers no good. Long rebound taken in the corner by Quinones. He's doubled, outlets, gets it to Dominguez. Dominguez running, gets it down low, shot up is no good. Long rebound will come out to Dominguez. He fires a three that's no good. The rebound is brought down by Morton and he passes over to Casasola, and now Cam the Charter will settle things down and try to run offense. Casasola, knocked out of his hands by Wright. Fernandez picks up the loose ball. Fernandez to the basket, left-handed layup is good. Morton with the ball, four and a half to go first quarter. Good start for Lower Cape May. Morton driving, kicking, stolen away by Mackie Bonner. Mackie Bonner right down the lane to the basket, got it in the foul. <laughs> Mackie Bonner with six already. This is the first free throws for either team. Josh Greta coming in for Ari Wright. Greta averages 10 a game in a reserve role as a sophomore, and he's a kid that can really fill it up at times. Bonner's free throw is good. He has seven of Lower's 11, and they have an early nine point lead. Here's Casasola, across the division line, nearly stolen, and we have a timeout called by E.J. Grice of Camden Charter. It's a 30 second timeout. The Anglesey Pub in North Wildwood is your go-to place for Irish pub fare, the best Guinness on tap, and a great selection of Irish whiskeys. Located at first in New Jersey, the Anglesey Pub is a strong supporter of Cape Atlantic Live Sports. For nearly 125 years, the Bellevue Tavern has featured excellent food and service in a warm, friendly atmosphere in the heart of Cape May Courthouse. That's the Bellevue Tavern, 609-463-1738. Triano & Sons handles masonry, concrete, foundation repair, and stucco services for homes and businesses across Cape May County. 609-522-3355 for a free estimate. Great start by Lower, they need 11-2. Run and jump here by Lower. Dominguez trapped inside half court. Was able to get it to Morton. Morton lobs to Casasova. He steps back, fires a three, got it, the foul. Daniel Casasola, much needed three point basket, and he was fouled. Mason Cronin, Ari Wright into the game for Lower Cape May. Daniel Casasola at the line to try to complete the rare four point play. Free throw is good as it rolls in. Casasola with the four point play. Camden Charter showing an extended zone defense here. Ty Bonner lobs it over to Mackey Bonner. Greta in the corner, open for three. Bang! Eight point lead for Lower now. Morton. Over to Canones. Canones lost the dribble. Gets it back to Michael Morton. Morton stops at the foul line. Goes to Casasola for three. No good. Greta the rebound, Mackie Bonner got away with a foul there on the rebound there, pushing a player from Camden Charter out of the way. Greta, another three, bang! 
Lower its largest lead at 11. Casasola, center of the floor, doubled. Stolen away by Greta. Greta going to the basket, left-handed layup, no, but a foul. And Josh Greta will get two shots. So he's provided a major spark for Lower off the bench, two threes, and now will go to the line for two shots with 2.58 to go in the first quarter. Greta makes the first. Braden Mello into the game for Lower Cape May as Mackie Bonner will sit momentarily. And Greta makes the second. Greta's made two free throws and two threes, and I don't think he's hit the rim on any of them. Here's Quinones. Hands it off to Dominguez. Dominguez trapped. Got it down low though to Canones and he lays it up and in. Omar Canones with his second field goal. He's got four points. Two three zone now by Camden Charter. Ty Bonner. Greta. Ty Bonner, they swing it. Right bounces down low to Mello. Loose. Jump ball. That wasn't a good pass by Ari Wright. He, he, he threw it into Mello in a difficult area. And Mello wasn't strong enough with the ball there, so they turn it over. Camden Charter gets it into Julius Dominguez. Joe Devine on the right side. Knocked out of bounds by Mackie Bonner. And here's Morton, Michael Morton. Canones now. Casa Sola turns, fires a three. Long rebound. Good play by Mason Cronin to keep that alive for his team. Ty Bonner cleans it up. 2-3 zone by Camden Charter. Greta on the right. His pass was tipped. Goes out of bounds. Lower by 11. Greta dribbles away from trouble. Here's Ty Bonner. Ari right now. Cross court to Greta. Ty Bonner to Ari Wright. Kicks in the corner. Mackey Bonner for three. Off the iron, no. Rebound Ty Bonner. Floater in the lane is good. His first field goal, it's 21-8. Omar Quinones doubled, passes across. Got it to Casasola. Goes to the basket, no good. Rebound knocked out of bounds by Lower Cape May. Mello, Nunez, and Fernandez all back into the game for Lower. One oh three to go in the period. They inbound it. The pass was thrown too high for Morton, and it's a turnover. Ty Bonner down to John Fernandez. Reverse layup. Got it. Pushing is Dominguez. Got it to Casasola. Casasola bullying his way into the lane, and the layup is good. 23-10 now, 40 seconds to go in the quarter. Fernandez, a three, short. That's not a good shot there. Rebound knocked out of bounds by Lower Cape May. Twenty-eight seconds to go in the period. Omar Quinones against Josh Greta. Quinones doubled now goes to Casasola. Pass was nearly stolen away. Now it's down low. 
kicked out to Dominguez for three. That's no good. Rebound loose. Mello, a great job to tip that ball away, and he's fouled at the same time. Fouled by Devine. Mackey Bonner back in. 8.4 to go in the period. Mackey Bonner has it at half court. Three seconds to go. Bonner steps back for three. That might have been partially blocked at the end of one quarter. A good quarter for Lower Cape May. They lead it 23 to 10 in this South Jersey Group 2 opener. One-off marketing designs and prints everything from business cards and banners to t-shirts and sweatshirts. Check out all of their services at oneoffmarketing.com. The Boardwalk Basketball Classic is one of the nation's largest high school basketball tournaments. For info, log on to bbclassic.com. The North Wildwood Recreation Department is a strong supporter of Cape Atlantic Live broadcasts. For more info on their programs and activities, <coughs> excuse me, 609-522-2955. The original hotspot restaurant on the Wildwoods Boardwalk at Cedar Avenue is a family tradition for more than 60 years. Check them out at originalhotspot.com. Wildwood FMBA Local 50 is a proud supporter of Cape Atlantic Live Sports. Cape Atlantic Live thanks the city of Wildwood firefighters for their support. So an outstanding first quarter for Lower Cape May. They lead Camden Charter 23-10. I'm Brian Kniff alongside Matt Ulmer handling the production behind the scenes. Lower will have the ball to start the second quarter. And the winner of this game, take on the winner of a game between Haddonfield and Manchester Township. We have a turnover by Lower Cape May here. Cam the Charter will take over. Michael Morton will bring it up against Ty Bonner. He's doubled. Lobs a dangerous pass, but Dominguez is able to corral it. Kicks it back to Quinones. Drives left. Knocked out of his hands. Regains. Goes to the baseline. Jumper's no good. Rebound goes off of Cam the Charter and out of bounds. Ty Bonner, the basketball. Fernandez, down to Mackie Bonner. Baseline floater, got it. Mackie Bonner with nine. Outlet pass quickly to Dominguez. Layup is good. Julius Dominguez, who leads Camden Charter in scoring at 19.8 a game. That's his first points. Fernandez, back to Ty Bonner. Bad pass. Ty Bonner does a great job of getting that back. Ari Wright fakes the three. Got it to Nunez at the foul line area. Back to Ty Bonner. Wright, Mackey Bonner. Wright again, Mackey Bonner in the corner for three. Bang! <laughs> Mackey Bonner with 12 already, with 6.35 to go in the second quarter. Morton driving left, he's fouled by Ty Bonner. Greta back in for Lower Cape May. Casasola trying to spin baseline against Nunez. Gets into the lane, dips in, jump hook, good move. Ty Bonner with the basketball. Greta for three, in and out. Rebound brought down by Devine. Driving to the basket, we have a foul here. Reaching in was Mackie Bonner on Joe Devine. And 
Mason Cronin checks in for lower. A little delay here as Joe Devine was tying his sneaker. Now we're ready to go. Omar Quinones will trigger the inbound. And it's going to be a turnover. I think Ari Wright may have gotten a finger on that, changed the, the trajectory, and it went off the head of Dominguez and out of bounds. Lower by 14. Ty Bonner holds, lobs over to Josh Greta. Mason Cronin, oh, bad pass here. Stolen away by Morton, and Morton will lay it up and in. Here comes Ty Bonner, bounces to Ari Wright. Another steal, tipped away by Dominguez. Morton to the basket, and he'll lay it in again. Timeout, lower Kate May. And it's a 10-point game now at 28-18. Full timeout by the Tigers. Stop a little spurt by Camden Charter. Cassiello Basketball is the Jersey Shore's premier grassroots basketball organization, featuring individual and group training in various leagues for kids of all ages. Check them out at CassielloBasketball.com. Crest Savings Bank has been serving the Cape May County community for nearly 105 years. Check them out at CrestSavings.com. Be sure to check out the Mudhen Brewing Company, Dog Tooth Bar and Grill, and Poppy's Brick Oven Pizza and Kitchen for a great local dining and entertainment experiences in the Wildwoods. So it's 28-18. Lower Cape May on top here, but two bad turnovers by the Tigers. And they're going to get Mackie Bonner back in the game quickly here. Mackie Bonner into the game with two fouls. 2-3 two, zone here again by Camden Charter. They were switching their defenses up early in the game, but now they've stuck with the 2-3 zone for a while. Greta for three, bang. His third three, he's got 11 off the bench. Near turnover by Dominguez, and threw it too hard off his teammate and out of bounds. Good response by Lower to that little spurt by Camden Charter. They make a three, and then they get a turnover. High post to Cronin. Bonner fakes a jumper, lobs it out to Ty Bonner. Greta on the right wing. Ty Bonner. Mello for three. Off the iron, no. Great tip by Cronin to keep it alive. Greta for three. Bang! Mason Cronin, a terrific controlled tip to give his team another crack at it, and Greta knocks down the three. That's his fourth. He's got 14 in the game. Camden Charter with the basketball. Here's Omar Quinones. Right side to Dominguez. Dominguez driving down the lane, gets to the basket, missed the layup. Rebound tipped out by Morton to Casasola. Good jump stop, leans in, no good, but a foul. That's a tough foul there. Casasola was off balance. They call that on Josh Greta, I believe. And Daniel Casasola at the line for two. His first one is good. He's two for two at the line. He has nine points. 4.06 to go before halftime. Second free throw is good. Ty Bonner, right side to Gretek. 
Greta holds, goes to Mello. Crossover dribble back to Greta. Ty Bonner now. As they have switched to man the man now, Camden Charter. Ty Bonner knifes in, no good. Rebound brought down by Devine. Stolen away by Ty Bonner. Mello for three, that's no good long. Rebound brought down by Morton. He pushes, bounces to Casasola. Might have gotten away with a double dribble there. Now we have a foul. Goes on Ty Bonner. It's his second. That's the fourth foul on Lower. Zaire Roberts, a junior guard, into the game for Camden Charter. He's the first sub for the Cougars. Casasola, jumper short. Rebound batted around. Greta came away with it. Got it to Mackie Bonner. Mackie Bonner, center of the floor. Bad pass, tipped away. Running is Camden Charter. Here's Casasola ahead of the pack, and his layup is good. Twelve-point game, three minutes to go, second quarter. Mackie Bonner against Dominguez. Drives to the left, bounces down low. Layup, no good. Rebound, Cronin got the friendly bounce. Lower by 14, 2.40 to go, second quarter. Morton, driving right, gets to the rim, lays it in. Morton showing his quickness there. And after a bad start, Camden Charter's kind of growing into the game, but they need stops. Greta for three, that's long. Rebound, Cronin, turns. That's no good, not a good shot there. But Ty Bonner, the offensive rebound again for Lower. He goes down the lane, no good but a foul, and he'll go to the line for two. Two shots here for Ty Bonner. He has two points in the game. This is his first trip to the free throw line. Two oh nine to go, second quarter. In and out on the foul shot. John Fernandez checking in for Lower along with Ogre Nunez. Aaron Figueroa, sophomore guard into the game for Camden Charter. Ari Wright's check, this check in, set the check in for Ty Bonner, but Bonner misses both. John Fernandez, though, the offensive rebound. Got it to a cutting Mackie Bonner, layup is good. He's got 14. And it's lower by 14 with 150 to go in the half. Morton, left side to Roberts. Roberts, they jump the ball screen. Roberts got it down low though to a wide open Aaron Figueroa who lays it in. Lower's been a little sloppy with their rotations when they do that run and jump. Quite a few times now, they've had players wide open underneath Camden Charter. Fernandez for three, bang! Sixth three-pointer of the first half for Lower Cape May. Morton goes in the corner to Devine. Devine drives, gets to the basket, lays it in. 41-28, one minute to go in the half. Ty Bonner. Goes around a man, gets into the lane, lost it. Outlet pass. Going to the basket is Devine, and his layup is good. Mackie Bonner with it on the wing. Doubled, lost the dribble. Pass was tipped, but Mackie Bonner gets it. Got it to Ty Bonner. John Fernandez, right elbow jumper is good. Fernandez with nine. Lower by 13. Devine on the left wing, here's Morton. Possession hours in Camden Charter's favor. They may elect to hold for one. Julius Dominguez, doubled, lost the dribble. Got it to Devine, goes right to the rim and lays it in. 
Four seconds to go. Ty Bonner up the right side, pulls up for three. And bang! Got the friendly bounce on the banked three-pointer. And Lower will take a 14-point lead into halftime at 46 to 32. Acrobatic three-pointer there by Ty Bonner at the buzzer of the half. And Lower leads it 46-32. We'll step aside with the audio. We'll come back before the start of the second half. This is high school playoff basketball in Cape Atlantic Live.
All right, back at the half. Lower Cape May. Ty Bonner with an acrobatic bank three at the buzzer of the first half, giving Lower Cape May a 46-32 lead over Camden Academy Charter. Awfully high scoring first half. For Camden Charter, Daniel Casasola with 12, six apiece for Michael Morton and Joe Devine, four for Omar Quinones, two for Julius Dominguez and Aaron Figueroa. For Lower Cape May, Mackie Bonner and Josh Greta, each with 14, John Fernandez with nine, Ty Bonner with five, two apiece for Mason Cronin and Ogre Nunez. Hall's Carpet Care specializes in carpet and upholstery cleaning, air duct and dryer vent cleaning, and home watch services, hallscarpetcare.com. Cabrera Companies provides real estate, property management, and home repair services here at the Jersey Shore. Log on to cabreracompanies.com for more info. Camden Charter will have the ball to start the second half, trailing by 14. Here comes Omar Quinones. Triple handoff with Morton. Now it's Dominguez. He's doubled. Over in the corner to, or on the left wing to Divine. And now they'll reset with Morton, guarded by Fernandez. Dominguez with it. High screen and roll with Divine. Divine handed it off to Quinones. Reverse layup, no. The rebound's loose, tipped away. Mackie Bonner had it, lobbed it out to John Fernandez, and Fernandez knocked the ball out of bounds. Good job by Morton tracking back for Camden Charter. And they inbounded to Dominguez. He's fouled. As Wright knocked him to the deck. And Camden Charter will inbound on the side here. Get it in to Daniel Casasola. He hands off to Omar Quinones, who goes to the basket, lays it up and in. There's been too many drives to the basket by Camden Charter tonight, where there's been absolutely no resistance from the lower Cape May defense. And now we have a 3-2 defense by Camden Charter. High post pass, Mackie Bonner. Ogre Nunez for three. Bang! And we have a delay of game warning on lower Cape May as one of their players knocked the ball away. And all that means is if there's another delay of game warning, it would result in a another delay of game violation on lower, it would result in a technical foul. Casasola gets it to Morton. Morton across the division line, lobs over to Devine. In the corner to Dominguez for three. No good, an air ball. Casasola, the offensive rebound, but it's loose on the floor now and knocked out of bounds by Camden Charter. Josh Greta to check in, will replace John Fernandez. Greta with 14 points off the bench in that first half. Ari Wright. Camden Charter now goes the man to man. Mackie Bonner tees up a three. Short. Rebound. Nunez kept it alive momentarily. Dominguez is fouled by Nunez. Omar Quinones had it tipped into the backcourt by Greta. Gets it to Casasola. He goes cross court to Morton. Baseline drive, no good. Rebound, laid up and in by Joseph Devine. Mackie Bonner with it. 
Right side to Ari Wright. Back to Bonner. Crossover move to the basket. Kicks to Nunez to Greta. Greta couldn't get the shot away. Center of the floor to Ty Bonner, and he's fouled. Julius Dominguez didn't like that call, but Ty Bonner will go to the line for two shots. Mason Cronin checks in for Lower Cape May. Have a pajama theme by the student section over at Lower here tonight. Ty Bonner makes both 15-point lead for Lower. 5.20 to go in the third. Quinones against Greta. Goes to Casasola. Casasola down the lane. Finger roll off the glass and good. Here's Ty Bonner. Right side to Mackey Bonner. To the right elbow area, back to Ty Bonner. To Mason Cronin. Greta now, Ty Bonner for three, bang. Ninth three-pointer for Lower Cape May in this game. They have exactly half their points through threes. Speaking of threes, there's one by Devine that's no good. Dominguez though the rebound and he is fouled. That foul goes on Mackie Bonner. That's his third. Dominguez makes the first. And the second one's also good. Timeout called by Camden Charter. It's 54-40, 4.30 to go in the third. Not For Long Media is a content hub made up of several podcasts and YouTube shows talking all things sports, food, drinks, travel, culture, and much more. You can check them out at notforlongmedia.com. Ulmer's Appliance Service is a proud supporter of Cape Atlantic Live Sports Broadcasts. Log on to ulmersappliance.com. Bonner's Accounting Services can handle all of your tax and financial needs. Give them a call at 609-602-3187. Bell Harbor Hotels in Wildwood Crest supports high school basketball broadcasts on Cape Atlantic Live. Log on to bellharborhotels.com for more. New Jersey State Assemblyman Antoine McClellan and Eric Simonson are strong supporters of high school sports and Cape Atlantic Live sports broadcasts. Lower the one. The 14 point lead. Here's Ty Bonner. Driving right, gets into the lane and is fouled. This will go against Morton, and Ty Bonner will go to the line for two. He has 10 points in the game. He's two for four at the line, misses that one. Braden Mello back in for lower. Mackie Bonner with those three fouls goes to the bench. Ty Bonner's second free throw is good. Some pressure by lower. Quinones down the lane, kicks out. Baseline drive by Dominguez, offensive foul. Taken by Mason Cronin. Lower the 15 point lead here and looking for more separation. Ty Bonner driving right to the basket and is fouled. Ty Bonner doing a good job of getting to the line in this period. This will be his 
fifth and sixth free throw attempts in this period. That one's no good. Fernandez checks back in. Second free throw by Bonner is good. Trapped is Morton, or Megan Morton going to the basket now. Wild layup, no good, rebound Cronin. Got it over to Ty Bonner. Bring it across the division line. Mello with it on the left. Ty Bonner now, 3.25 to go in the period. Kicks out to Fernandez. Greta with the basketball. Oh, good move by Josh Greta. Layup is good, what a move. They get it ahead to Casasola. He's fouled by Cronin. And Omar Quinones will inbound. It's the fourth team foul on lower of the period. Both teams now in the bonus. Morton goes to Casasola, spins, jump hook off the glass and good. 16 point game, 2.50 to go in the third. Here's Ty Bonner, left side John Fernandez. Fernandez driving, gets to the rim, misses the layup though. Quinones up the floor to Casasola, leans in, he's fouled. And Daniel Casasola will go to the line for two shots. I think the referees better be careful here. This, is, this game has some simmering tension to it. There's been some extracurricular stuff after whistles on the last couple of possessions. Last couple of dead balls. Casasola misses the free throw, will get another. Bonner and Nunez back in for lower. That free throw is good. Casasola with 17. Mackie Bonner is fouled by Dominguez. And that's going to send Mackie Bonner to the line for two shots. Coaching staff for Camden Charter not happy with that call. First one by Mackie Bonner is good. He has 15 points. Aaron Figueroa checks in for Camden Charter. Second free throw by Mackie Bonner is good. He'll come out, Ari Wright will come back in. 17 point lead now for Lower Cape May. And here's Michael Morton. Dribbling right, passing down low to Aaron Figueroa. Baseline jumper now by Quinones, no good. Rebound Ari Wright. Ty Bonner takes it right, goes to the basket, off the glass, in and out. Tips up his own miss and it goes in. Ty Bonner with 14, he's got nine in this period. Casasola goes back to Morton. Morton is fouled from behind by Mello. That will send Morton to the line for two shots.
And Morton steps in with lower ahead by 19 with 154 to go in the third. Free throw is good. Mason Crone and Mackie Bonner back in the game. Michael Morton's second free throw. No good. Long rebound to Mackie Bonner. Outlets to Ari Wright. Wright down the lane. Floater is good. His first basket. Lower has its largest lead at 20. Divine lost it out of bounds. One thirty six to go in the third here. And lower ahead by twenty. Here's Mackie Bonner. Wow, that's a foul there by Figueroa that wasn't called. But Mackie Bonner beats that pressure, goes right down the lane, no good but a foul. And he'll get two. Bonner is three for three at the line. Cape Atlantic Live Jinx strikes again. Bonner misses the first one. And the second one is also no good. Rebound at the vine, stolen away by Mason Cronin. Mackie Bonner in the corner, Ty Bonner for three. Short, rebound brought down by Morton. Morton outlets too high for Quinones and out of bounds. And Zaire Roberts will check in for Quinones. It looked like he turned his ankle there. Or actually, they're stretching him out. Looks like maybe a cramp. Here's Mackie Bonner as Lower Cape May has the basketball. Bonner down the lane. Right handed layup is good. He's got 18. Outlet pass tipped out of bounds by Wright. They were looking for Morton streaking to the basket. Mello back in for Mackie Bonner. Lower by 22 here. 48 seconds to go in the third. Devine. Backs away from the double team, slings it out to Casasola. Casasola into the paint. Blocked by Cronin. A lot of contact there, no foul. Casasola gets it back. Tosses one up, no good. Rebound to Greta. Greta to Ari Wright, and he's fouled. And Ari Wright will get two shots. Twenty-seven seconds to go in the period. Wright's first is good. He's got three points now. Fernandez and Nunez back in. Second one by Ari Wright is good. Lower pressuring here. Here's Casa Sola, he'll bring it up. He's doubled, flips it back, ball's loose. Picked up by Roberts. Morton 
Barely beats the 10 second count, goes to the basket, scores while being fouled. Michael Morton to try to complete a three-point play here. Fourteen seconds to go in the period. It's lower by 22. Free throw is good. Here's Mackie Bonner. Across the division line, into the lane, floater, got it. That'll beat the buzzer and give Lower its largest lead of the game at 70 to 47. Ribeye Steaks is a staple of the many festivals and special events across Cape May County all throughout the year. For more info on one of the area's premier food trucks, 609-602-3378 or check them out on Facebook. Wildwood, Re Wildwood Recreation Department, strong supporter of Cape Atlantic Live Sports. Call 609-522-5837 for info on their programs. Square One Design has nearly 20 years of experience designing websites building online marketing campaigns and creating custom web applications. DesignSquareOne.com for info. And Cape Atlantic Live would like to thank Lower Cape May and Athletic Director Eric Simonson for allowing us to come in here and broadcast this playoff doubleheader. And... after three quarters, an awfully high scoring game here at 70 to 47. Lower Cape May will have the basketball to start the period. Nunez to Fernandez. Fernandez holding, goes to Nunez. Ty Bonner now. It's lower spreading the floor. Shouldn't be in any particular hurry, up 23. Mackey Bonner, left wing. Goes to Ari right. John Fernandez. Ty Bonner left side, goes to Fernandez, Ari Wright. Mackie Bonner found a lane to the basket, lays it up and in. Lower takes 45 seconds off the clock on that possession and lay, gets a layup to up its lead to 25. Morton driving right. Good help defense by Nunez, and Nunez clears the rebound of the second miss. Mackie Bonner, hands off the Ty Bonner. Ari Wright, John Fernandez, 4-3, bang! Lowers 10th three-pointer in the game. Casasola with it. And we are going to have a timeout called before the turnover by Camden Charter. Uh, Lower Cape May starting to pull away, really pull away here. They lead 75-47 with 6.30 to go in the fourth. And they're due to play the winner of a game between fourth seeded Haddonfield and 13th seeded Manchester Township on Monday. 28-point lead. 
for the Tigers here. They were a favorite in this one, and they have performed like it, especially offensively. Lower Cape May girls were a 42-29 winner over Collingswood earlier this evening. Middle Township girls were a winner over Pensauk and Tech. 69-20. Middle's boys were leading West Deptford 41-19 at halftime at last report. Morton to inbound. Throws it to Quinones in the backcourt. Right side, Morton. Casasova. Now it's Omar Quinones. Michael Morton, guarded by John Fernandez. Daniel Casasova. Pass was tipped into the backcourt. Dominguez has it. Brings it up. Pass is tipped by Ty Bonner. Whole outlet to Ari Wright, and the layup is good. Ari Wright with six. Another steal by Lower Kate May. Fernandez to Ty Bonner. The layup is good. Lower Kate May really pouring it on here. They're on a 9 0 run to start the fourth quarter. Here's a three by Dominguez that's short. Ty Bonner the rebound. Mackie Bonner now. His lower spreads the floor to a cutting John Fernandez. That's blocked by Devine. Devine, though, loses it out of bounds. So he was trying to push the ball up the sideline. Aaron Figueroa checks in. Josh Greta back in for lower along with Braden Mello. Mason Cronin also in the game. Mackie Bonner with the basketball. Right side to Josh Greta. Mackie Bonner again. Oh, taken right out of his hands by Morton. Bonner tips it away, but Morton comes up with the loose ball. His layup is good. Lower by 30, 4.45 to go. Mackie Bonner to the basket. Got it, a foul. Mackie Bonner with 24. Andrew Dominguez, a junior, into the game for Camden Charter. And Bonner completes the three-point play. He's got 25. Dominguez for three, in and out, rebound to Ty Bonner. Down low to Greta. Little floater on the baseline is good. Greta with 18. Here's a three on the way that's good by Omar Quinones. He's got nine in the game. But it's 84-52 lower with four minutes to go. The Tigers could get 100 here. And now we have whistle being blown on the far side to settle down the student section. Janaz Carmichael, number five into the game, along with Zaire Roberts, number 13 for Camden Charter. Amir Clark in for Lower Cape May, number 34, along with Matt DeCave, number 30. Here's Greta. Greta will go down the lane to the basket. 
Try to pass too hard for Matt the Cave. Driving into the paint, losing the ball on the way up was at, or, uh, Andrew Dominguez. Cronin comes out of there with the loose ball and he's bumped and fouled. Second team foul on Camden Charter. And now we're gonna have an issue on the other side with a, with a fan. Down there in the right corner. Yeah, you could probably take the uh, you could probably take some of the simmering tension out of this game if Camden Charter would just back off and stop pressing. I mean, lower Kate May doesn't have a starter in the game. And they're, and they're leading by 32. Greta goes down the lane. His layup is good in the foul. Josh Greta with 20. This kid can really, really score for a sophomore. And he's going to play a much bigger role for this Caper Tiger team next year as a junior. Rebound, or the free throw is missed. Andrew Dominguez has the ball now for Camden Charter. Zaire Roberts for three. That will go out of bounds. Possession to lower. Casasola will come out, Michael Morton back in. Here's Greta with it. Right side to Mello for three, no good. Cronin the offensive rebound. Lobs it out to Greta. Greta to Cronin. Cronin hands off to Matt the Cave. Good look down low to Greta. Baseline shot is good. Greta with 22. And it's 88-52. Lower Cape May, here's a near steal. And now Mason Cronin does come up with the loose ball. Bounces it out to Greta. Lower Cape May scored 90 in a game earlier this year against Oakcrest. They have 88 now with 2.12 to go. Clark driving and he traveled. Brecken Conley, number 22, a sophomore. Cole Cedarland, number 15, a freshman. Into the game for Lower Cape May. And we're going to have a traveling violation here on Andrew Dominguez. Eighty-eight fifty-two lower on top. Clock is running, it shouldn't be, not in the state playoffs. Even though it's a 36 point lead, and it's not a Cape Atlantic League game either. Greta. Tipped into the backcourt, stolen by Morton. Clark fouls him. And again, the clock is running here. It's not supposed to be because it's a state playoff game and not a Cape Atlantic League game, which has the rule for a running clock. But both teams at this point, 
simply play this one out. Morton for three, that's good. Eighty-eight fifty-five now. There's Matt the Cave down the bracket. Connolly, the Cave for two. That's short. Morton will go to the basket. His layup is good. Greta has it, and that's going to do it. Eighty-eight fifty-seven. Lower Cape May wins it. They will advance. In the South Jersey Group 2 tournament, Camden Charter has their season ended at 14 and 12. And we'll give you the final point totals. For Camden Charter, Daniel Casasola, Michael Morton, each, each with 17. Omar Quinones, 9. 8 for Joe Devine, 4 for... Julius Dominguez for Lower Cape May. Mackie Bonner with 25. Josh Greta with 22. Ty Bonner, 16. John Fernandez, 12. Ari Wright, 6. Ogre Nunez, 5. Mason Cronin, 2. Lower Cape May improves to 21 and 6. They advance to the next round on Monday. Thanks for joining us for the playoff doubleheader. Lower sweeps it. The girls, 42 29 over Collingswood. And the boys, 88 57 over Camden Charter. For Matt Ulmer, I'm Brian Kniff. Thanks for joining us. This has been High School Basketball on Cape Atlantic Live.